go ahead with your introduction yeah yeah, yeah. actually it's really like it's really great to know about you yeah, yeah. so when it comes about myself yeah uh, i'm sonu prasad born and brought up in hyderabad so like uh, when it comes about my experience i can say nearly i'm, I'm having 3 years of experience as a devops engineer so so in my devops uh, in in my in, I, in my overall experience i work with many tools i work with git uh, docker kubernetes as well as jenkins and ansible also and we can say our uh, uh aws services so like uh, like uh, uh i worked in two organizations so in, in that morely i used to work on some uh, i can say like i i worked on docker i worked on uh, like to provision aws services i have used in terraform and uh, and as we know like uh, like uh, like uh, in my uh, our projects uh, we were using kubernetes for uh, microservices even i was working with kubernetes also and to automate our process all i used to jenkins okay uh, that's great so uh, you talked about the aws what so may i know what all aws services have you used for uh, your work me yeah uh, i can say like i have used uh, vpc uh, to create vpc and subnets instances and uh, load balancer auto scaling s3 uh, s3 lambda you can used and rds also used and some and many more tools i can say okay many more services okay that's great so uh, let's come to the s3 so just suppose that you have to restrict access to a specific object in your mm-hmm. s3 bucket correct for a specific user as well so how will you set up yeah, this yeah. yeah for that uh, like uh, to particularly to restrict uh, any object uh, we can go through the s3 bucket policies mm-hmm. through that we can rest, uh, like uh, restrict our objects uh, like whatever objects there in s3 bucket we can through with the help of s3 policies we can restrict okay uh let's talk about the second question you have a uh, account a and account b correct within yeah, this yeah. account a you have a running uh, ec2 machine on which your data processing application is running fine mm, yeah certainly. now this application has to read some of the data which are stored in mm. aws account b correct mm. so how will you mm. set up this kind of uh, flow for the your application so, so it account a and account b means two different accounts at this yes correct yeah for that uh, you have this uh, you have this application running in aws account a then uh, you have this aws account b where your uh, s3 bucket is created correct and like you can think of you have this uh, application a running on aws account uh, a where on the ec2 machines yeah. it's a web application yeah. correct it's a kind of a website yeah. and this website yeah. needs to show some of the icons correct like if you have e-commerce so there are multiple products and these yeah. products need to have icon these I- icons need to be fetched from a different uh, aws account where the icons are stored in s3 bucket so how will you set up this yeah. flow so yeah uh, can we use aws site-to-site vpn for that If I'm not wrong, because I did not ever came across this scenario, so I'm not having much idea on it. Okay, no issue. It's a cross account access issue actually. So you yeah, can go uh, with uh, uh, this IAM permission. So you can account. create you can create one uh, IAM role, and that can role mm-hmm. that role can be attached your uh, with your server. Like if you get into EC2 instance, you will see there is an option of modify IAM role. So with your server, you can attach one role, and that role will be having the permission to the different AWS account, like ARN. We used to pass in the policies, correct? So, ah, yeah, sorry, the role ARN we can define. Yeah, role ARN you can pass, and that particular EC2 will have that yeah. access to get into different AWS account and get the objects out of that, correct? So, yeah, that way you can set. Okay, in S3 only, like uh, just suppose that uh, you have multiple objects, thousand number of objects, correct? and uh, you want to assign temporary access on a particular object for a user just you can think of mm-hmm. 10 to 15 minutes so what mm-hmm. will you do here yeah sure yeah if i'm not wrong we can use the predefined url right uh, within that we can give our uh, like object access so through through that we can able to give for certain time to users access to uh, access our private uh, objects Yeah, whatever it might be. Yeah, 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 that's true. Now, considering the same S3 service, uh, I have a S3 uh, bucket, correct? Where I have hosted this uh, yeah. static website. We have the concept of a yeah, static yeah. website hosting in S3, correct? Yeah, yeah. And oh, this yeah. uh, S3 bucket is hosted in. Uh, you can think of AP South One, Mumbai region, correct? Oh. Now I have to face the icons. 
वन सेकेंड करेक्ट नाउ आई एम नॉट गेटिंग इन टू अ डिफरेंट ए डब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट बट आई एम इन टू द सेम ए डब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट बट नाउ आई हैव टू फेस द आईकॉन्स फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट बकेट विच इज लोकेटेड इन ओरिगांव वी डू हैव दिस बकेट्स इन द डिफरेंट रीजन करेक्ट सो हाउ विल यू सेट अप दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी एंड लाइक द सेकेंड बकेट ऑल्सो हैज इनेबल दिस स्टैटिक वेबसाइट होस्टिंग करेक्ट बहुत बकेट्स हैव दिस स्टैटिक वेबसाइट होस्टिंग इनेबल uh one uh, bucket has this application running second uh, bucket has all some kind of images now you have to fetch the image from second bucket and the first uh, first bucket api uh, the first bucket application will be making api call to the second bucket so how will you set up this activity like you mentioned so like uh, from this bucket we have we need to access other bucket yeah correct in conclusion you so, can say So instead of we can use uh, like uh, multi cross region replication with the help of that we can able to achieve this one right? if I'm not wrong because like we enable this one mm-hmm. we can able to access this uh, in in that particular region we can use replication so so from our data we can able to access from that that region yeah, yeah multi cross region uh, like replication will help you if you want to replicate the same data correct it's it's the same data uh-huh. which gets replicated i'm not saying that uh-huh. the, the data is in the uh, uh, s3 bucket a as well the data the uh-huh. icons which i have to fetch that is in second account uh, sorry second bucket and i have second to bucket. yeah on, and my application is running uh, in bucket a which is in a different region uh-huh. you can say that it's a bucket which is running in region a now i have a second uh-huh. bucket called as b which is which is in region C, uh, b correct now i have uh-huh. to make the communication between these two Okay, no issue. Sure. So, have you heard about this S3 CORS concept, cross origin resource sharing? CORS. Yeah. No, no, actually, I don't. Okay, so you can go with the uh, that uh, particular uh, property of S3 as well. S3 CORS, which enables you the cross region uh, bucket communication. You can uh, think of that way. Correct. Right? Yeah, so that's uh, that's ah, another. Sorry. just like the web application we used to set up this uh, crs concept for web application as well like uh, if we have uh, two different dns correct dns a and dns b uh-huh. and uh, we have to make the communication uh-huh. between these two dns so we used to set this uh, cross origin resource uh, sharing policy and there we used to uh, give the like grant the access kind of thing which kind of uh, method we uh, want to implement like uh, we are trying to implement the get method or put method or post method that way we you can enable correct Okay. 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 So, you have worked with the lambda function as well, correct? Uh, uh, not much, but yeah, I can say I worked. Okay. So, you have lambda function uh, in a AWS account, eh? Correct. Uh-huh. And this lambda function is running your notification system or any application code it's running, correct? Now it has Actually, to. Ah. Uh, yes. You wanted to no, ask. Sorry, but no, no. Go ahead. Later, I will say. Okay. So this lambda function needs to communicate with the application which is running on a EC2, which is in second AWS okay. account. I have a AWS account here where my uh, lambda function uh-huh. is uh, lambda function is running, which has some code. Correct. It's executing that uh-huh. code. Now this lambda function has to connect with the application which is running on EC2. This EC2 is in uh-huh. AWS account B. So how will you set up this uh, different AWS account communication for the resources? Yeah, yeah, we can say yeah. Just now beginning we have said like uh, AWS cross, uh, cross account connections. We can go through that. We can able to uh, through that we can able to achieve. I think. AWS cross. Because mostly I will. So, so just at the beginning we said right, exactly that thing I am saying. AWS cross account communication, correct? That's what you are saying. Yeah. So yeah. how will you how will you set up this AWS cross account communication? Like there there should be some property. There should be some uh, way of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like yeah, we need to we need to first to create any role or users, and we'll be defining our permissions in that. Yeah. By 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 taking one lambda. Yeah. So for for example, if you are using a like uh, a account, we'll be taking their user name and adding into in that. Uh, mm-hmm. through that we can able to establish connection okay so uh, the best answer for this will be like when you have to establish the communication between the different resources within the two aws account.